Good morning. Welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. Well, in about one hour from now, National City will open another vaccination center for its community. It's described as a vaccination pod and joining us with details is National City Mayor Alejandra Soltero Solis. Good morning, Mayor. Buenos dias. So good to see you. Buenos dias, Liz. Buenos dias. Such an exciting morning today. Well, right. I mean, it appears that things are really moving in a more positive direction in the South Bay as it relates to COVID-19 and getting people vaccinated. Tell me all about this new vaccination pod that is expected to open, what, at 8.30? Uh, at uh, 9.30 today. 9.30. But we're having, our, we're having our press conference at 8.30 uh, to announce it formally with uh, Supervisor Vargas, our fire chief, and a multitude of partners just to say, hey, we're ready um, to provide 500 shots uh, per day, Sunday through Thursday. So we have that weekend day for those people that are uh, working uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, Sundays is available. And, you know, just really starting to ramp up the ability for people to help us reach that herd uh, immunity uh, level for National City. And I know we've talked about this before, but why? Why is this so significant for the South Bay region? Well, when we have one of the highest rate of COVID-19, the positive COVID-19 testing, we have essential workers. We have multi-generations in one household. It's extremely important that we have our most vulnerable, our elders well, right now, which are eligible, and those first responders have access to the vaccine because when the rest of the population is able to get there. We know that there will be an opportunity, uh, again, to reach that herd immunity number. And I wanna share with you, Liz, for um, the percentages that they've uh, shared, it's 75 to 85% of the population that is needed to reach that immunity level. For us in National City of 60,000, that's about 48,000 people that have to be vaccinated. Now, whether they get vaccinated in National City, they get vaccinated down in Chula Vista, or they choose to go to Petco Park or a multitude of other areas that will be opening up um, from now until the future, we wanna make sure that everyone has the options of where to go. Very good. Yeah, you mentioned the obviously the vaccination superstation that opened up. That's over at the Sears building. But now in National City, there is a vaccination pod where you said uh, hopefully up to 500 people a day can be vaccinated there. And I just want to reiterate, you said uh, in terms of who can go to this vaccination pod or make an appointment, it's those that are under phase 1A and 75 years and older, correct? Correct, and I believe yesterday the county approved 65 plus. So we are confirming everything, but uh, there was an announcement that 65 plus, um, but they should go onto the website, uh, the vaccine uh, sd.org, I believe it is, um, that has all of the details of who is eligible. But for right now, we wanna make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. that uh, people are aware that the, the location is open in National City by appointment. By appointment. Uh, we had a soft launch on Thursday and we had over 200 people in line. Wow. And this was without an announcement. So we know people are anxious. We know people want to get the vaccine, um, but we want people to be patient. And um, before um, we, we move on and we want people to start taking a pledge. So through our national city today, later today through the press conference, we're going to encourage our community uh, to take a pledge. And it's the pledge to take the vaccine, and once their turn in line is ready to roll, that they be ready and know where to go, how to register, and engage with um, you know the county and wherever they choose to go to get vaccinated, and do and take the vaccine. And Mayor, so we've talked to you about this before. This is very personal to you because you participated in a vaccine trial. And as you stated to us, this was important because why? You wanted to dispel some of the myths out there that, um, you know, about vaccinations, correct? 100%. I had not participated in a vaccine trial ever. So when I was asking my constituency, hey, uh, find out what it is to sign up. 
and again, just found out super quick to, to do the paperwork and process, but helping to show people that, yes, you have to have the blood drug to participate in the trial. But even once I received the vaccine shot, just knowing that, you know, I, I'm, I'm still here, I'm healthy. I am, you know, haven't had fevers. I haven't entered the hospital uh, with the COVID-19. Like there's, for me, it's just been helping to dispel the myth. Again, within communities of color, you know, there's always that fear or, or tension of not knowing because of the quickness that of the vaccine uh, rollout, you know, the government is involved. Uh, so hopefully I've been able to share with folks that in fact, the vaccine is safe. It's gone through its rigor uh, for through the FDA and a multitude of other um, levels of, of scrutiny. Mm -hmm. um, and many of our existing public safety um, officers and, and personnel in National City, very proud to say that 95% of our firefighters have been vaccinated. Uh, and over 50% of our firefighters or our police officers have been vaccinated. And uh, as well, today we will be announcing that our firefighters will be looking at a mobile unit. So being able to process uh, and provide vaccines by trusted individuals in the community to those most vulnerable. So the long-term care facilities, those that can't get to a vaccine site. And it's, and it's really perpetuating that message of trust by our trusted uh, partners. Wow, well, that's great. We'll definitely follow up with you and the fire department about this uh, mobile unit, this mobile vaccination unit. That is very, very exciting. Um, Mayor Alejandra Soltelo Solis, you look amazing. You look healthy. Thank you so much for spending the time with us this morning. I know you said uh, you got to go get ready for your news conference um, with your partners at 830 and then the vaccination pod opens up at 9 30 but you need to have an appointment we'll of course put all of this information on our website kusi.com and it's at the martin luther king jr community center off of 12th street right that's the vaccination pod correct and okay. i just want to share one one little thing that is hot off the press uh memo Cavada, one of our local photographers who passed away um earlier uh, late last year through the waiting area where people will be waiting and being observed for the last 15 minutes, his artwork will be up for them to enjoy. Um, and we're the first to have that type of art up and we're very how, proud to be uh, celebrating his life and his legacy within the pod and for the enjoyment of all of our community once they take that vaccine. So that's an extra added bonus for all of our members who participate. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. And we will uh, make sure that uh, we have some more information as you come, as you reveal more in the news conference in about a half hour. Thank you so much, Mayor. Take care. Yes, yes. Take we'll care. be right back.